Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves out in beautiful, sunny California. Well, not so sunny with this soft heart who uh, has a past record dealing with the police, especially with the assault with a deadly weapon, which is why by the end of the video, there is a uh, police officer wearing a gas mask. Some of the most beloved sovereign citizen tricks in the book are in this video, especially the fee schedule, which you will definitely get a kick out of. Oh yeah, and if you're interested in this guy's uh, record, his overall criminal record, he plasters it all over his YouTube channel. So I'll just go ahead and leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description below. That way you can get in there and enjoy his stupidity at your leisure after uh, you watch this video. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hmm. 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 I need you, Peter, to identify himself. Who's your sergeant? If I can, if I imply, hands on the steering wheel. Both hands on the steering wheel right now. Where's your superior? Hands out of the car. Get out. I need everybody to identify themselves. I need names and batch numbers. You guys took something personal that you didn't have to. Well, considering you just turned on the camera, we have no idea what exactly you said that, well, you made so personal. So are you going to call your superior? Okay. Who's your superior? So you get what? Lawful peace officer commits a lawful traffic stop. And I've ordered you several times to get out of the car. You're failing to comply. I already told you. I already warned you. You get a car superior? Well, it's not unreasonable for the cop to ask you to uh, exit the vehicle during a traffic stop anyway, per Pennsylvania versus MIMS, but you blockhead uh, soft hearts that don't seem to understand that to begin with. Are you going to call your superior? No. Okay, so there's a schedule, right? A fee schedule. Now, this is... This is notice. I'm giving you notice. If you use my name, that's copyrighted. There's a $500,000 fine for every time you use my name without permission. Yeah, Jim Helwick, a.k.a. the Ultimate Warrior, tried the exact same thing with Vincent Kennedy McMahon back in the early 90s. But uh, it didn't work out too well for him either on that because... Jim Helwick didn't exactly understand what copyright law was anyway, and neither do you. You're on probation. I recognize you immediately. You're going to step out of the car today, are you? I'm not going to apply willingly. If you were going to take me, it's going to be against my will. Okay, you're already on probation. Uh, you're at a traffic stop, and you're not complying with the officers. Uh, you're bound to get uh, more charges added to your already existing charges and put back into prison because of your own stupidity with these traffic laws. Is it really worth it, dude? I'm not a 14th Amendment. Supervisor. Okay. Where's he at? 
Morning, sir. Same situation. Okay. I'm gonna tell you you need to step out right now, okay? Sir, you know there's a difference between private and public. I've stepped out of the private, out of the public. I'm in the private now. This is private property. I'm not driving, I'm traveling. And this is not your first rodeo either, considering how many times you've been pulled over in the past. So how many times is it going to take for you to learn that California, much like other states in the union, has laws about this kind of thing? I mean, it is so easy to do. And I mean that I'm traveling, not driving thing is so tired and overused. I mean, once you're traveling on the public highways, it is a, the mode of conveyance that becomes the issue. You have to register your vehicle. You have to have a driver's license. You have to do that all in order to be able to do that. There is no great soft hard secret of the universe that you discovered. It's just a soft hard guru that has poisoned your brain. Or it could be that you're just trying to find the easy way through life and, uh, making a bunch of mistakes along the way. Either way, it's just sheer stupidity. Okay. You've been uh, given warning that you're delaying their investigation. Is that correct? Okay, now, a prior investigation or an investigation to fish for criminal activity? Because there's no criminal activity here. There's no prior violation. Uh, I'm telling you right now. From the past time that we dealt with you last week, mm -hmm. as well as today. Okay. You realize that you're delaying their investigation. Investigate, they're fishing. There is no investigation. Or if there's a prior investigation of a crime that was committed prior. You're driving a vehicle with extremely expired registration. That's in the private. Public or private, I don't care what you define it as. What matters is how California defines it as. And you, sir, are in violation of that to begin with, with no registration plates or bad registration plates to begin with. So dude, stop letting those sovereign sis and gurus drill holes in your head. It's not going to help with your intelligence. It's just going to make your brains leak out and make you dumber. That's in the private. Okay, you're driving on a California highway here on the road. A surface street. It's a public road. Okay, let me ask you this question. Is there anything I could do to have you get out of the car? So what? So you can search it and seize it and so you can put me in cuffs and put me in your car? Is there anything I can do to get you to comply and get you out of that car peacefully? Is there any, any way... You can let me go about my business because obviously, look, I'm not doing anything wrong. I am not. Uh, your criminal record and your extremely expired uh, license plates would beg to differ with you on that. You're done. So that's See, you're fishing, trying to decide whether you're going to find something to incriminate me with or, or to pin me on some type of bogus charge. I'm telling you, I don't want to biz. I don't want to do business because what you're doing is a presentment. I mean, you you could chop it off as this or this or that, but I don't want I don't want to consent to any business right now. I like I'm close for business. I don't want. I don't need to. Oh great! Here comes the uh, corporation arguments that uh, we all know and love from soft tarts. You're a corporation, and I don't want to do business with you. The United States is a corporation, and I don't want to do business with you. The police departments are corporations, and I don't want to do business with you. So this guy has definitely fallen for the soft tart gurus and drank the lead paint laced Kool Aid. Uh, subjugate myself to whatever you're going to decide to charge me with. Like, that's, that's in the end of the day, that's what you're trying to do is fishing. And you're going to say that it, it, it delaying an investigation, an investigation to what? An investigation for you to find something to charge Let me, me interrupt with. You. I'm going to ask you one more time. Is there anything I could say to get you to change your mind and get out of the car? Why do you want me to get out of the car? Because I'm ordering you to now. So you guys took it personal. Simple. Waited for me all over the corner and just wait, wait again, right? Is there anything I could do to convince you to get out of the car? You. Anything short of getting involved in the altercation with you, which I don't want to have happen. I don't either. Okay. I want to go home. I have stuff to do. Okay. Everybody, I have to work. I have to make a living. And if this car isn't registered, it's because it's in the pri it's in the private now. 
That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. No, if that car isn't registered, it's not because it's in the private now. It's because you're a complete moron. Because you decided to fall for some uh, sovereign citizen gurus who are playing your dumb ass like a freaking fiddle. And as I'm hard having to pay month to month rent and bills for the kids and bills for everything, you think I want my girl working? I have her working because I have, we have no choice. You know how expensive you everything is? The question that I've asked you three times now. Is there anything I could do to get you, to convince you to come out of that car peacefully? To do business. Period. That, yes or no? I don't want to do business. I don't want to do business. Answer the question. Is there anything I could say to get you to change your mind to come out of the car peacefully? Answer yes or no. I can't afford taking this car out of the impound. I can't afford going to prison or jail for for because somebody's ego got hurt. So then so then comply with lawful orders if you don't want to go to jail. You, can you promise me that? Yeah, as soon as I get out of here, you're gonna cuff me up. You're, you're gonna, gonna take the car, gonna I'm gonna end up in the hole. Be because what? Because I consented. That's the end of the day. Once you consent, you open the door for contract. I don't want a contract, is what I'm saying. Okay. So what is your answer? Yes or no? Is there anything I can tell you? makes you get out of the car peacefully. I'm not going to make promises about putting you in handcuffs or not. See, see, see what it comes down to? It's like, do what I want, do what, do, do what I say, or... Yeah. I'm trying to be really nice and have a lot of patience. For the second time now. <sighs> Did you look into what I told you last time? About having me having the trustee, about being in the private. No? I know exactly what you're talking about. I've been watching these sovereign citizen gurus on YouTube, especially having a trust and all that. I mean, it's just a bunch of garbage that's not going to work out for you anyway. And also, if you actually take a look on uh, some other parts of YouTube, you'll see sovereign citizens who tried the exact same thing you tried and end up in court, and it does not end up very well for them. But hey, if you want to play it the hard way and get more charges and fines for me because you want to play that stupid game, that's up to you, dude. Because you complain about not having enough, enough money to pay your rent and everything like that. Well, dude, you're paying so much in fines and charges that you're not going to have enough money to pay your rent because of this. I'm done, com I'm done conversing with you. We did this before. I pulled up and I hear this officer giving you lawful orders to get out of the vehicle and you are not. We don't, we don't need to have any more conversation about will you get out of the car or what kind of issues you have with car being registered or you want to go to jail or not. We are done. We are past that. If you want to talk at the side of this window till the sun comes up and then to the whole next day, we'll do that too because I can talk with the best of them. But I don't think I'm going to get anywhere with you by doing that. You've decided you've made up your mind. That's why you're not open to, to the reality that we're in. Like, the, it's the by force. It's, it's, the reality it's, that we're in is you are now delaying an investigation and, and refusing to comply with lawful orders. An investigation to fish to go do charges. Like, that. that's... You can't put the apple before the... I mean, the horse before the... The carriage before the, the horse. It just makes no sense. How, how am I delaying an investigation that has no prior merit? Okay. This is the last time I'm going to ask you before we're done having this conversation. Are you willing to get out of the car lawfully? On your own and peacefully. By doing so, I, I don't I don't want to submit so submit myself to any jurisdiction of, of whatever contract you want to do. Like that that's that's the end of the, end of the day you want to you want to do that. Like that's fine. Can I speak to your superior? When we're done, not right now. He there has to be someone that understands I'm the one talking to you right now. Yes, but you don't want to understand that there's a private and a, and a public. And that's a concept you have yet to explain on this video. So if you have that knowledge, go ahead and give it to us so we can verify it. But until then, you got nothing, dude. That there's a 14th Amendment citizen that automatically does fall under your jurisdiction and is 
subjected to whatever you say. But like I told you, I already have my filings. Sorry, dude. Uh, you just can't pick and choose any amendment that you want and disregard the rest. You are a citizen of the United States, or so you want to be. You have to follow all the amendments, including the 14th Amendment, which is just about due process. I don't know what the hell you think the 14th Amendment is all about, but it's just really about due process. This, and we're done? You can talk to him all you want. When I'm cuffed up in a cell in the middle of nowhere, you think he's going to step up and, and bother with me? He's saying you're going to, in a cell. Once you guys get me out of the car, everything's out the window. I, I know how it works. You can talk to him all you want. You have my word. There's other crimes, a lot of things that you guys could be doing to have just uh, like... And there are other officers assigned to those duties. Right now, these officers are assigned to traffic duty. They are taking care of the job they have been assigned. And right now, you are inhibiting their abilities to complete this traffic stop, move on, and go take care of other business. This is all on you right now, dude. I didn't, I'm not doing this as a challenge. I'm not doing it to bother you guys or, or it's just, I'm trying to go about my business and just do me and trying to like, just everybody leave me alone. I'm not bothering nobody. I'm not trying to hurt nobody. I'm not, I'm not trying to get hurt. I'm not, it's, it's like, uh, you guys are just trying to escalate it into something that it's not. Step out of the car right now. Sir, I don't want to contract. I don't want, I know what you don't want to do, man. It'll be fine. Okay? You're going to be calm. We're going to be calm. We're going to get through this. That's all it is. You're going to nice and slowly open the door. We're going to nice and slowly pull you to the side over here. And then we'll go from there. I'll call my supervisor once you get out of the car and we make sure that you don't have any weapons on you. I don't have any weapons. I'm telling you that. So we just need to make sure. Call your supervisor. There you go. Well, right now I'm, I'm the supervisor out here. Oh, I'll call him once everything's secure and safe out here. Okay. See how everything I say can and will be used against me? I told you I do this every day. So you guys waiting on the corner for me again. And see, that's why I don't like answering questions. Okay, so go ahead and step out, and then we'll go from there. Call your supervisor, brother, because obviously. Do you understand? I am the supervisor right here right now. At the moment, yes, but you're not. You're not. You're not listening to reason. That this is not a Fourteenth Amendment type situation. Robert. Yes. Why wouldn't we just step out of the car? Because I know what happens. You cuff me up, you throw me in the back, you ransack my stuff, you give me tickets, you you take the car, and then I'm asked out wet. So then, if you know that, why didn't the first time? You can do it. You didn't you step out of the car? And because I, because I already went. How do you how do I, you know, Robert? How do you know I wasn't just going to give you a ticket or give you a, a warning? How do you know that? Do you know that, Robert? As soon as I as soon as I pull over, what are you doing? Screaming, yelling. You were ready to draw your gun. Yeah, because. You're on probation for 245 on a peace officer with a gun. Do you under do you understand? <laughs> you failed to tell us that you're on probation. You failed to identify yourself. Your car's way expired. Okay. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah, that you that, that so, you Robert, let's switch places. Let's imagine I was you in your seat. Mm -hmm. And you're me as a police officer, right? Mm -hmm. You know that you've shot at a police officer before. So you don't even know the facts. Okay. You don't even know the facts. Have you gone and looked into a case, so, into a case that you assume you know? You don't okay. even know the facts. Fine. Let's do this. You, you're on probation for 245. You think I am? You think, are you sure that's me? I have triple verified.
Did you know that before you pulled me over last time? No, but you were screaming ready to pull the trigger before you even knew who I was. If you say that is me, in fact. Last time what happened? What was You went almost two, three blocks, right? I have no weapons. That's fine. Just I'm not. Hands. I'm not a harm to anybody. Can I get your superior? What? Can I get your superior? Besides that guy. You, you, hold on, you're not reading this game. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, automatically, you guys want to step on somebody's neck you, and you're just to sound force orders. But it's not. You're not. You're not hitting the, the ball the nail at all. Trying to formulate sentences that don't even make sense. <laughs> all right you guys are nothing but a little gang just think you guys got everything set, uh figured out too but at the end of the day uh, just <sighs> the bankers lapdogs fucking keeping control of what? everybody all the fucking slaves and shit oh great we have one of those guys too uh, i mean he's fallen very deep down several rabbit holes by this point in his life i yeah there is no uh getting him out of this. He will never see the light. He's going to be steadfast in his stupidity for the rest of his life. And you know what? I'm going to take a wild guess and uh, predict that you may be a flat earther too. But you know what? Uh, that's just a speculation on my part right now. I don't know you. so But you may be that kind of person. You know we're living in a bankrupt society, right? You're not teaching us anything, okay? Nothing you already don't know, which is even worse because you know, knowingly knowing this, you're still decide to go that route. Hey, see the sun you have up there, right? Excuse you're me? The son of God? Yes. Okay. You know what the Bible tells us about uh, obeying authority? Yes. You do? It says that we shall uh, obey the authority that is set here on earth. That's how we honor God, correct? Correct. So right now we're the authority, right? So it's as simple as stepping out and we conduct our investigation and then my partners decide what to do. But if you're going to be proclaiming that, you should follow what you are proclaiming, correct? If exactly. it says that you shall, you shall abide by the authority that has been put in this earth and that's us. And I do. You're not, I don't break the law. I don't break the law we're willingly. We're lawful order. Therefore, we're yeah. abiding by what you believe, correct? There's... So now you're contradicting yourself. So instead of making this easier no. and living by what you're proclaiming that you live by, mm -hmm. you're just making this harder. Okay. You've been done with this a long time ago. There's a difference. It's not a difference. Common law. Okay, it's look. Not, it's the, not a difference. The Bible is clear on saying that you, you shall obey the law and, and, and the authority that's put here on earth. Now you're just contradicting yourself. And you're saying that the Bible is contradicting itself. No, the Bible yes, is not contradicting is, itself. Exactly. There's only one supreme law. That's the father. That's him. That's the law, but he says you shall abide by the law that's put here on earth by men. It's clear as day. And we're the law and you're not obeying. You're just making this way harder. This could have been done a long time ago. If you step out, you're abiding by what you live, we're done with this. Can you the first name again? Bravo on the officer for using a, that de-escalation tactic right there and for catching him in his own trap and making him recognize that. Good job, dude. Excuse me? What is your first name again? You, you, you told me last week. I don't remember telling you this week or last week. I have something to show you. If you refuse to continue to comply with our instructions and our orders... You will be uh, sitting there, and we will be deploying some uh, chemical agents into your vehicle. Mm -hmm. Okay? It will hurt you. I don't want that to happen. Okay, I know, but it's going to if you continue to refuse to comply. We will deploy chemical agents in your vehicle until you come out. Do you understand me? Why would you want to do that? It'll be you want to, you, you, you willingly want to hurt people. somebody. You get off that way or something? do not then why would you want to do that because i i don't want to but you're refusing to comply so 
So I'm going to give you another warning. You want me to come? So, so. You're going to get chemical agents in your, in your, in your vehicle. And it will be unpleasant for you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank so automatically, because you find something on the record that you don't like, you're gonna decide to target them because you don't even know the facts. You, you like understand what I'm saying? You're going to have chemical agents deployed into your vehicle. I don't want chemical vehicles in uh, chemical agents in my vehicle. Step up and you're step out. There's a reason why they're wearing gas masks because it's not pleasant. No, no, watch out. Okay, step out, step out, then. This is your your last warning. You should giving him, giving him like. Uh, this is your last. This warning. is a stick of his ass, and you're giving him a, like. Go ahead, run it. Going to step out. Put it away. Yes or no? Yeah, I'm gonna step out, okay. but I'm not. I'm gonna do it, with it and it's, it's it's only under duress. Okay. I'm letting that putting it on the record. It's only under duress because I don't want to get hurt. I don't want nobody else to get hurt. And because obviously you guys are just okay. don't want to listen to reason. Open that door and we'll do it nice and calm, okay? All right, I'm going to take my seatbelt off. Okay, Let me just drink some tea real quick. I'm going to get out. Like, this is just fucked up, man. Man, there are just so many things wrong with this soft card. I don't even know where to begin. I mean, he's fallen down several conspiracy theory uh, rabbit holes. And I kind of makes me wonder, like I said before, if he hasn't fallen down the flat earth conspiracy uh, rabbit hole at this point in his life. I mean, this guy's brains just waved bye-bye to him a long time ago, and I don't think he'll ever see him again. But at least that officer used some clever, calming de-escalation tactics to get that guy out of his car with non-violent means, given that this uh, suspect has had uh, prior dealings with officers, and they ended up involving him using a gun. So, bravo on the officer for de-escalating. Well, at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.